so a fundamental uh, requirement for moving on the texturing stage uh, is to open the uv map of each of the component of the truck so let's see uh, how to do it now here is my model so we will use this uv editor window and uh, we will facilitate this uh, when by using this uv so before moving to this uv editor part we will go to this tab here workspace now you can see here uh, we have several ways by which maya works here so classic standard expert sculpture pose and uh, many more like uv editing xn so if we need to add a um, hair uh, so we use xn so if we were to organic model and rigging animation changes with this workspace so according to these model equally so for example if we go to this uv mode so we have this uv editor as the main window here and uh, here my model uh, window small in a slightly small view so but we can also play with this moving their window uh, and uh, increase the size so we can work on both of these so now we can go to the second option here model 3d models so here we already have only 3d models but if we go to the uv menu and go to this uv editor now we also see this small window of uv editor so in this case to exposing and uh, able to work with it so i am working with these uh, window so in this way on this screen we would have this 3d model and on this screen uh, i have a uv section so to visualize these kind of cuts uh, here you can see so as we are doing for this uh, purpose um, I'm using these window modeling and UV screen so we will work to integrate it with this UV scene and this model scene again we erase all the history here now you can see Maya by defaults when we create this certain geometry so it's already generated as UV it is a by default UV here but these are incorrect and they are not functional at all so but these uh, but these not do not provide any op uh, information here so let's uh, so these basics uv are used to just generate basic texturing so by default uh, i'm going to delete these uv uh, in maya but so so we would go to this uv menu and uh, we can do these two things here so i delete this current uv set and uh, we delete the wrong uv here and uh, here we simply give it to direct to this uv plane and here you can see what uh, we have created a 2d figure of my model so which is in this case so if we click on any of these controls you can so i can transform and move a little like a pivot so at a moment we are doing this extrusion so if i click on this circle so we see how it zoom in or over here is changes so if i click on it so here is a rotation of this uv and i broken if broken we see how the uv projects uh, the front of this model now it is not so interesting in this way uh, since it is simply a base so that helps us to uh, have a structure within a map so you can see here so that the uv of each part and uh, that would constitute to the future so so we have to select this geometry and delete all history just in case and start with this roof and the hood here so what i usually do before opening the uv is uh, i'm going to establish and differentiate different parts so mm, to make a specific geometry of each part so here you can see how many could the cut them and uh, even how he could be 
uh, divided so if you look here we have this part here la hood and the another part uh, this windshield and uh, remaining is this roof area now of this uh, i always do one thing is so to identify the main part or component here i'm going to uh, i'm going to uh, so it is like a animator so so just absorb as much as detail as possible and as mirror pieces and pieces that are not going to be mirrored so it does not merit that uh, they have considerable space in uv so for example these internal part these part are not going to be seen so of course uh, right now they are uh, in uh, they are here so once we have texture if already is not going to seen therefore we don't need a uh, considerable space in this uv so we are going to edge mode here and uh, to start making these cut so as here we have this kind of uh, uh, separation here so to select both side uh, i will activate this uh, symmetry so we go to the tool settings and uh, this uh, uh, setting symmetry symmetry settings and we tell you to make a symmetry along uh, world x axis now here you can see we also have the same selection of uh, here also so now go to this side and make a selection so that could be a first cut now uh, first cut then i go to this polygon and uh, say cut uv edges so it may be that uh, so at that moment we give a cut on this so nothing happens but we can visualize the cut here so when we go to this little uh, icon here then toggle the display of this texture board for this active mesh so what this option does is show us this cut so here we can see here we are going to do in geometry so it's like i increase the thickness of this loop line uh, that was i cut here uh, so i next cut i would make it uh, kind of here also so i select and i'm going to polygons and select cut uv edge here now the inner part i think it would cut uh, it too now here is also i bought this it to repeat it now here you can see these edges also i don't want those split so long when they are cut here so likewise here make them divide so more or less in this slightly equal section so on this windshield part uh, i want this i want this whole area so open them and uh, this part that goes inward so here i'm going to separate this part so i really bought it to this repeat uh, the cut command here now select all these inner edges uh, at the top and uh, i will not separate this part so that goes into the body here so i just want that uh, in the corner and uh, adding a couple of cuts so they also open so on the roof part we will open this corner and uh, so that in this way they uh, like this so we can try there uh, to see how we have this cut so in fact here we have this geometry that goes into these cuts here you can see so already made the cut so i go to this polygon menu and uh, we give a unfold and the uv has been opened here uh, you can see so here we have a several section option within this uv menu and uh, such as border edges shelf vertex face and uv you can see so the uh, one i use the most is shelf mode because we select each of these cut 
and we have just made in this case as I am by this symmetry so I select both side of X and Y uh, so cuts that I made so you may wonder how I know that a cut is well made so the first and most basic of this way to activate this checker so we have on this button check uh, this kind of square here so what he does is it put the shader with these UV so which is in fact the most usual when checking the UV cut here and uh, the, uh, the cube here are uh, this kind of hair that look perfect and square so, the uh, so it means the cut is perfect so there is no distortion and uh, any disturbance so this guaranteed that texture is going to be appear well maintained so it will look uh, when the taking a map to another render engine so another way to also with this UV distortion display option here you can click on this also so it shows us the color uh, if there is any kind of distortion so in this match for example here you can see so we have this slightly compression so this red color indicates compression so but uh, if we activate the checker here so it's uh, and just there is a small ripple in this geometry so it is not uh, obvious that there is a distortion and uh, perhaps it uh, due to this curve part also and it may be slight fold so now I'm going to uh, try adding a couple of cuts uh, in that part and uh, then they open it now I'm going to this and uh, cut edge polygon cut again so what we have just made on this open and uh, this part of this UV here so when we this arrange and little more in this area here so now I think uh, we could also separate these UV a little more uh, like this so equal here again give a cut and give a unfold again we give a cut and uh, give a unfold but we see that uh, this part is still being maintained so here you can see this part after all is not visible or will not be visible now so when making a render or a final output since it will be the covered by the other piece here so it's not a problem that is component that is not visible here so give us a kind of compression now once this is done I go to the shelf mode and uh, I will try to give it uh, a certain order of UV uh, to the cuts that uh, we have finished making here so in the both coat and proportional so we will give this same proportional to all these parties uh, or this part of this model so in this 3d model we press R and I will scale it and press E to rotate and uh, and we are ready accordingly and uh, this part inside this UV and adjust their positions so you can see likewise as they will not be visible they do not need a considerable space here so I will remove the symmetry to be able to move each of these so I press E to rotate and uh, I move this here and now what we do to climbing rotating and giving them more or less here so a position that allow us to accommodate this part here so the UV part is ready to uh, maintain so when it's perfectly vertically and horizontally here so I select my shelf mode and I right click sustained shelf here so here we have this option to rotate the UV so here you can see to the right and the top here so we click and rotate but we change to UV mode here 
and uh, again we press right click and select this shelf mode and uh, I'm dragging this uh, UV here now I'm arranging all these equals that a like kind of shed over there now I go to this edge mode and uh, uh, we have here uh, so that has not made us a correct separation here you can see so it's a common that we have double vertex here so I'm going to go down and uh, I'm going to combine them so or combine the front ones again now I think it's a red uh, already combined for, from this top so I'm leaving here and I'm going to edge mode now I'm selecting these edge and uh, I'm going to say cut me again and uh, cut it so now it is already separated here so with this we have this first part of this hood and uh, I'm going to delete the history again and activate this channel box so I put the position 0 to return it is initial position as you can see here so now we go with this side part and uh, uh, I think uh, here we can distinguish that we have some part here now for example a part uh, uh, would be like this and another part uh, would be this kind of section and uh, another part would be this and last one would be that one and in this correct uh, box so we would be talking about four more parts here so with this internal part that will carry a small proportion so when allocating them the space in UV here so I would go back to edge mode and I will activate symmetry now I press world X and would proceed to cut here and uh, now here you can see I select uh, all these edges now here I'm going to select all these edges here so once this done I will delete all the history and uh, just in case so we have a polygon to unfold I unfold these and uh, again go uh, let's see how we have these cuts so now will we have fairly perfect from this checker I have checked there is no distortion here so it could further optimize this cut so if we give this distortion option and we see that we have no distortion here so the whole component is, is totally white so which indicates that the cut is good so we continue with the other component here so let's moving on so there will some like these and uh, who does not have them so but we will assign a uh, default material in key shot so if we want we give it to UV and uh, we can create an automatic map here so it is up to you to use the map on these small part or not so either manually or automatically so as we wish to do it so so these would be add a crystal section so in fact since i opened this map uh, uh, so we will place it here now i select this whole model and delete the history first now you can see here so we reset this transformation and uh, i think it is good idea so to move to the uh, our texture part here so we can take this part to our UV map and uh, that would be my second quadrant and remember the first quadrant is going to be whole part of this body and the first quadrant of UV or this first site as we can say now the second would be the mask bumper and these strips and other small parts of components now the third party will be consist only for tires here 
and the room is going to be this crystal and our model in this end would be constituted so constituted for uh, tiles of udmi which is also named by which uh, they are unknown so this is how we would have this first the whole part of this body would would go here and the second udmi would be here the part of accessories and other components and uh, uh, that is this part so everything we just cut in this lesson and the third party will be consist only of the tire here so why will i assign the single uv for entire tire here because i want to take advantage of this space in the entire room so i absorb as much as possible of details in this texture and that room would consist of this crystal here and uh, all these glassware so that is the window and the headlights crystals and uh, this would be the end as I would be this UDMI in our model. So let's start with texturing. So I'm going to quick review of this program that for texturing called Subtense Painter and we will see its interface and its functionality. So as well as we use their tools, material and mask and other options. So to start painting our model. So let's start it. Now before that I select this entire mesh and go to this file menu and select this export section and we look for our Jeep Gradiator folder here. Now in the same scene in .obj format uh, we put a name Jeep Gladiator and we give you an export sex selection here. So it's time to go to the Subtense Painter and learn a little about its interface. So I'm going to start with the basics and uh, I get into this uh, model into Subtense Painter. So basically I would say this Subtense Painter is just more, more advanced and 3D interface uh, like uh, uh, of Photoshop and also has a 3D view. Here we go to this file menu and say new. So my first thing we will do is select the file that we are going to texturing. So here we have file option we tell select. So here we uh, throw us into the default folder. So then we look for a folder where we have saved our project. Now in this case I have it on the desk and uh, Jeep Gradiator. So we located the folder where we saved and in this case yeah, I have this so we have selected dot obg file and open it now we have this path where we have file but we have other option here so we have to make sure as in Maya we work with a UDIM so and of four tiles so we are working with this multiple UDIMS so we have to tell substance painter that uh, by importing this file we have created its uh, textures so textures for our uh, UDMI tiles so what we had here so then we click if we don't have it so click to take it into account so that subtense know that the model we are importing uh, it made up in a multi UDMIs so import cameras we would use in so if we uh, support FBX so maybe with this preset view but uh, this is not in this case so here in documents resolution so is the resolution under which the UDMI will work here you can see uh, 128, 256, 1512, 1024 and uh, much more so it is very important that we consider these performance so or the power of our our system uh, this will higher resolution so the power will have great demands regarding to hardness of our equipment so let's uh, select this so i think standard we could work with uh, uh, let's say resolution to 2048 and uh, since our uh, resolution 4k 4096 uh, so it will demand a lot from our work teams so if we don't have this powerful system so we are working considerable as 2048 
or we can also 1048 also depending on our correct sets of our team or our video card or graphic card of our computer so at this time texturing uh, substance is handled 100% by this uh, video card so let's consider that and uh, moving on i resolution of our project so we will work in 2048 so for this example so if we have a, a good team or a uh, good uh, uh, computer then we go for 406 also so in this processing at this time of recording so it's also do it uh, uh, 2048 so this format we have open cg gl or direct x so we can work with this default performance platform and there is uh, uh, really uh, no problem let's moving on so we have also this model and import mesh normal maps and bake maps and uh, that is if the project that we have worked previously so we export it to zebras and uh, add nuts using uh, normal maps or uh, super small details like form a uh, uh, wiring um, and all so and additional details we have here is uh, uh, we want them or only to transfer to our mesh here so i'm using this normal map so if we have here uh, this and i extracting uh, to this another program like zebras so we want to stay here so in this model we have right now to texturing so we add this and uh, would select normal so then we have extract from other software outside of Substance Painter. We currently don't have that. So we ignore this part here. So since press OK and we have our model on this screen. So in this way we move a Substance interface uh, is same like uh, in Maya. So press Alt, press left click. Uh, we can rotate it and uh, press Alt, press right click and we can zoom it and uh, you can see press alt press middle mouse button and scroll uh, click uh, as you pan the screen here so in this way we move the same as in maya we can move our project here so once we have import the model now second step is to do the bake of these maps so because if directly once we imported uh, we want to add a material uh, this will not uh, correctly interpreted uh, as you uh, take an example let's try this if i drag this color to my model so let's wait a moment and loading it so so we see how this material behaves so which is not most appropriate uh, method so we have to pretty interesting details how it generate as here but uh, this painting is not good so it's because the lighting direction is not uh, calculated yes so the direction of this shadow so now go to that and we are going to bake of this material so to do this we are going to this tab so right side right here now texture settings now here we uh, have the channel that the uh, bake will do now as we are using pvr texture system so we are under the system of channel of this base color uh, metallic roughness normal and heights you can see here these are the basically the material based on which they will calculate it and all we did assign to our model uh, will be executed so we move to this bottom of this entire menu and uh, we have bake mesh map and we click it and this opens a window here and here are some parameters that we will take into account here now for example we will disable the normal option here now you, you can see here so because this applies if we had uh, made a high poly model here now this is all this detail uh, ultra high polygon now you can see so that we want to project to a low poly model and in this case the low poly model would be uh, like this truck in fact it is low poly but if we want to project all these details so of the high poly geometry 
that would apply to the tire here and we could simply apply this project this style of this cylinder and uh, when we have this high poly model so we select normal and we say high definition mesh meshes so obviously we click on this use a low poly model here now for that and uh, uh, we click uh, here also and we would select the model where we have the high poly model so this is not the case because we don't have a high poly model here so we deselect this normal option and rest we leave it uh, same way and here again we tell you that what size we want to make this bake so if at this beginning we import it we tell subtense painter and we want to 2048 then here in this baking we also tell the uh, this 2048 also and that would be parameter that we are going to reset and we leave this rest and like so we'll tell you that we have this one option bake 1001 mesh maps so which is in this layer here it is the first style of my udim here 1001 1002 1011 1012 to identify these kind of sets so i want to make all these styles of our udim so i'm going to tell them to do the bake of all my uh, meshes so the process may delay a bit so we will accelerate this video so uh, we will continue once this baking process is finished so let's i'm going to give a break bake to all these texture and set now you can see it takes some time so let's i'm i'm moving forward uh, now we see how the geometry has changed and it's further enhanced so each of these component uh, that is thanks to this ambient occasional maps uh, here you can see let get this down a bit and uh, here we have these maps resulting from this baking so uh, that is we have the normal maps and uh, id maps uh, which is a way to identify each part of this and uh, ambient occlusion is uh, one of that give us the detail of this geometry and other maps that are used by this different material here so to calculate your application we are starting uh, uh, using this now uh, we will re rename the tiles of this udim so let's uh, give it a, a first part that was the body and uh, if we not identify the first two uh, what each and other components so let we simply click on this i and we see the part that disappears so this would be the part uh, we will call accessories and the third of this uh, for tires and uh, wall the room in this crystal and the four for uh, windows or whatever we call them and we don't want to see others uh, we can hide them now you can see so if we have no problem we can work with anyone at the uh, same time so we would start with this uh, adding material to the, my body so first we would add a paint system here and uh, you can see we can make use of several of these material that substance painter had so for what is painting or uh, as i said before smart material allow us to use part of these material here and uh, and it can combine them with the part of other material also so we could start with this metal paint dirt dirty uh, here is a material it is a smart material and uh, that i have in this part so something important that with substance and material handling uh, i i need to say that um, it is that address that substance painter share his here you can visit and read more about this share substance painter 3d.com so i will also leave the link in the description so i create an account of this page and it also uh, free so we create an account uh, and login 
and we have this axis for example if we go to this smart material and uh, to this infinity of this down uh, downloadable material here you can easily download these material from the website now it seemed to me with the material and i work with it so i download it from this link so in this case i will consider making a folder here so with that material i am using to download them automatically automatically and uh, all of that once uh, you have subtenance in the final part uh, i will indicates how to add all these new uh, downloaded materials to our folder so this will be continue uh, already uh, uh, here so it's been generated automatically uh, by the effect of this material and uh, i will move upward a bit here now uh, you can see uh, what these options are here uh, now we said before this is udim tile so i correspond to this layer of this tile here and uh, you can see here so of these all are the smart material options for example in this dirt part these are the channels where we did the bake and on this calculation this material is uh, uh, based of this metallic color roughness and um, normal and uh, this height so if i deactivate height uh, we see how the uh, power these levels so i think it would be this way and since the dirt it does not become a very pronounced relief and unlike if we were working on this mud so this would be a way to remove the relief and uh, the other would be going down here and uh, we can change the color of this power structure and i can go down and vary its color a bit here and uh, the uh, i can give it a bit a bit more this identify here so here we have this option metallic and roughness so if we take them to the other extreme completely so this would become a metallic but uh, not applicable so in roughness alike the more we take them uh, to the dark part here uh you can see so a uh, more brightness and reflective here and the less reflective become which is most uh, kind of optimal well the dust is not reflective uh, reflective here so finally we have this height option and that if we move this to left it produce this this kind of depth now if we move it to the right and it gives uh, us a uh, relief like this so if we move it in the center part so it's not depth and uh, relief so we have this value so when we click to we can edit manually so we put zero so here you can see it is clean and smooth surface so it considered that it dust uh, with this part and we already have the body with this paint and the dust part here and uh, but uh, it's applying to all this and we would not be correct in this lower part since we are going to add a material the, that is clearly seen so to the next material that we are going to assign uh, we put a mask on it so because we would have this mask all these component uh, here you can see i minimize this and add another material uh, over this and this time it will be simple material so we go to this material tab and look for one that we had here uh, this so this is a pure matte plastic or pure plastic so we grab it and drag over it so we see how it placed and we has painted everything uh, again here so here we will change this color and we will put this to black and we tell them that i don't don't want this reflection so it become totally dark um, meaningless and uh, lifeless nothing it's uh, just a black 
so but i want that because uh, i will add uh, it to the my bottom so another one of this option we have going to use is this mask so we will mask this uh, material to assign it to the bottom here so we right click on this layer and say add black mask uh, here now you can see the mask was added and written again uh, to this visibility of the whole set now we go to this option and we have to the left side so the mask selection options here and we have it in the fourth button uh, polygon fill here and uh, we click we go to this right side and we have the difference option here and uh, i triangle fill polygon fill and mesh fill and the uv chunk fill here so they are the different options which uh, uh, here you can see the mask of the object so the one we will use the most depending on the case we needed so it is by polygon by object or by uv here you can see uh, of course as we practice we will know how to determine it now which is the most correct option that we should use is uh, uh, in this case i want to mask the entire part of this floor so for that the whole object as such the more variable option of this object now you can see if i wanted to select this part and where i did to separate a uh, uv so the most correct option is by uv because i just want to uh, select certain parts as long as they are trimmed and separated by uv here so i select this part by object and uh, we just click it and uh, here we see that uh, has not applied to us here so but uh, it is because the uv is not removed so we should not worry uh, in this case and about that uh, because we will assign a separate material in this uh, render engine so as it is unseen part uh, it would not be uh, much problem here so this part if we go to this maya and uh, i'm going to give shield so here uh, and uh, has no uv here so as this flat part we are taking part of this material and uh, and uh, on the other but what material this uh, we have this shadow uh, like this and in this internal part we return to this painting mode and continue assigning this material now here been uh, like some kind of geometry so these other part are sticking out a bit and uh, I do it when exporting the model of the render engine and we will try to correct it a bit and we can try to add a little more dirt to this truck. So let's uh, go to the reference part and uh, I want to look at something in particular here like this. So this part is seemingly bright plastic kind of thing and uh, a little strong. So let's go and get one with this uh, smart material. So um, here I think this kind of material is good. Latex black. So I select it, drag it and uh, it automatically make it assigned. So now also I'm going to add a mask and uh, this kind of mask and we are going to call this floor and while we are going to call this black plastic so just rename them and in this mask option we are going to select this option here and i will tell you to select me by object here and uh, i have selected this part of object here now to rotate uh, uh, the light and i press shift plus right button and we move here horizontally vertically also and we change the orientation of this light here here i see that uh, we have selected the part of the door on this floor so maybe um, here it is so we are going to erase options so we are going to erase all these masks 
now it's good time that we have done it and take into this account now uh, let's uh, select a part and uh, does not apply we select the layer where the material is that we select it poorly now and with this draft option we remove the selection and we can use another material that contain drift and uh, uh, for example this one so i put this sandy print uh, like this uh, you can preview it on this uh, hollow part geometry now i'm going to send it directly to it and uh, uh, appearance like a super old cardboard like so we are interested in this dust part so i'm going to open the material option here and we have this earth and uh, if i deactivate the eye the rush is removed and we see that the material already become a bit interesting here you can see so if i remove the paint option we have this metal part only and i remove the metal piece and i just leave with my dust so here i can work with so here you can see now i think this is better now so i can serve better for what we try to uh, recreate the part i don't need can even be deleted here and uh, i would only keep this part of the dust and this is material as such of this power and we have this filling option here and here we can change this color to uh, kind of orange dark orange so i think something out uh, like this although it's not a uh, really good but let's continue with this so in a way as dirty uh, which is what we are looking for just continue with our flow it would be um, like a body texturing now the internal part if we wish and we can change it here so it could look for this material and uh, like a plastic hormones groshi here you can see so i think it's fine now and uh, we enter the option and in the basic part uh, we change this color to just black like this we go to the this option and uh, add a mask here and we are going to put this coating box now here uh, now i will select and here come a new selection mode since if i continue by object so i will select the whole box here and uh, here you could work uh, in this uv selection mode and uh, because uh, i have cut this internal part of it now you can see so we lost the part of dust so we had uh, just added so i will move the layer until it form a line under this layer uh, as i so then we want to place and uh, we have the dust inside this bucket again now let's save it so if you if we want we can generate a folder of substance painter and we can assign it a name here so we are going to this body tile because we are going to save this material here now so we had this previously uh, i have just created this and uh, this is how body paint would be the material we are going to use here and uh, but we had already made some changes on this uh, hood so it's like a dirt and little uh, roughness so we're going to this right click and uh, uh, say create smart material and here we are created with this name and we had assigned here so paint body or the name we had just assigned so if uh, we go to this accessories and drag this material over here uh, on this uh, mask so this is the copy of my this same material so which we assigned to this previously uh, on hood so we remember to make this mask since we apply it to the uh, mask here so right click on this layer and add black mask 
So we go to this uh, selection option in this left panel in polygon fill. Now we also have this option to mask and uh, by UV and uh, by object by polygon or by this filling triangle here you can see we would do it by object and we simply click on this entire mask and we have assigned uh, the material here so the inner part of these holes will be painted black so i would create a new material again and we go to this simple material now this materials so i think plastic matte pure could be served here and here we drag over this and we select this material and we go down to this properties so in base color we select a black color here and uh, in the option of this metallic and roughness let's make it uh, have no reflexes and uh, absorbing like this and we are going to add a mask here and in this masking option we would do it by uv and because i just want to apply it uh, uh, to this part now uh, we go with this plastic material of uh, to this bumper here so we can look for them in smart material now we'll just drag and drop so we are going to try this mat uh, plastic fake material so we can play with this size of preview here now uh, you can uh, play with this uh, here so here the option on this upper right part so from this material window we tell you what size we want to preview it so just small medium and large here so we go for large version now again i emphasize them and uh, to work in this better way and uh, the idea would be to have this on screen like this so to separate uh, all these part of material and their categories so uh, on this main screen i would have all these spaces so to visualize this model and uh, this material would give us a feeling to being uh, something plastic here but uh, at this time something metallic by these time scale and that prevents the material and we can go playing with this uh, option here and if we deactivate the surface again and uh, this kind of uh, 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 this kind of bumper so if we go to the base color and uh, increase its roughness so uh, we see how it really takes a uh, more sneaky reflection and uh, at the same time it is something which uh, we could use here uh, it also give us a slightly we are on this corner you can see so we consider their kind of uh, vehicle and if we want to give it an aspect of use uh, so we have these so choose and keep these option of this material that uh, given with us and uh, we simply deactivate the edge option of this material here and uh, which takes away this fear now even lower this opacity now uh, here you can see so make it more convenient so the effect of this uh, we can just let it be sneaky effect so let's give us this material so we are going to mask everything and uh, i would put a uh, uh, rangers here yeah here this material here on this background now let's create a, uh, create a mask and right click and add this black mask here and in the selection option uh, we say we want to select by object now uh, just mesh fill we have the option here and it be right panel here so we are selecting this part and we want to material to have is this now uh, now i activate the symmetry uh, to make a selection of this both side uh, now i'm selecting these and uh, uh, apply these basic plastic material over all these hooks and back bumpers and uh, these headlights tail lights and these cover 
so now let's go to this part here and uh, insert here so we have to leave the glass part separately now so here uh, we make this selection by UV because if I put this object I paint everything so insert of insist of UV I had already separated these part so we repeat me this uh, so which is uh, leave it free and apply this texture so here we can do it by object and since it is independent object here so we would uh, do this by object and uh, the sheet will be like a metallic material now we move this layer to this upward and uh, uh, which uh, we leave it already now you can see and uh, we will apply this kind of some kind of alpha as a non strippy part here so we would go to this material and simply search for uh, this um, among these options uh, one that has non sticky pattern scheme here so that can serve as uh, for a little purpose here so night uh, bumpy squares i think this texture could help us so let's drag and uh, drop here and the basic material that not smart material here so we can control them here in part of say uv transformation so in this part scale and uh, uh, we can go up with this and in the level of repetition of this pattern of this material now just put a number is 10 you can see here it seems how these become a small and narrow bumps uh, on this so I put and uh, the position of size them um, is changes uh, as I put 20 so I think 10 is fine I place the 10 again so we can also rotate it in the in this way we want to locate it differently so let's put some name uh, of this rubber bumps and uh, we assign a mask and now we are going to use this alpha here also so to generate the mask on this floor of this uh, strip ups so i need an alpha that is square here so i need to find these kind of uh, square alpha so we have one and we have this other option here so we simply click on this alpha and the brush has already been transformed so these are my brush and I will activate the symmetry again so the we can same sequence can be done on the both side so I get close enough to geometry so I am going to rotate a light on this so you can see press ctrl and left click and uh, I can broke this brush so ctrl and right click to scale this brush uh, now more or less I position it in this size and direction I want to give it now adjust their position I give the first click where I want to mask and uh, I'm pressing shift and we see how this line forms and I click on where I want to mask to end here so I click and uh, this uh, so I think this would be applicable on this also so now I'm going to disable symmetry because there is no need here I would also have a little detail in geometry here now let's moving on so on uh, we have same color on this body so again we go to this smart material and we look for the body paint and uh, we had previously sa saved here now it does not look so bad but we will be governor based on references and add mask let's go to the mask selection options uh, here and uh, we will select this now we go to the top we do the same with this uh, hike here now uh, same do this with nuts and bolts and uh, with this also now we add a material to this sheet where the keyhole is there and so we would also with a metallic material now tram metal i'm using this so 
we are a little dark here so let's play with this some um, little more options so we are we are going to take away this dirt here now uh, we add a mask and uh, click over it uh, here you can see we are going to add a alpha to this simulate and uh, uh, create a key like structure so i think this could be work here and i just select going to create a new layer and we say add layer now we have this brush now we select this alpha and i control right click to scale it down now how far the location would be so if we go to the window view and display setting uh, and we move uh, to the bottom uh, we have the mesh wireframe option here and uh, which allow us to see the mesh of our object so here we can change this look and uh, we want to fire wireframe of this look and we, when we want to place part or uh, this kind of thing so i can be very useful to visualize the mesh of our object here and having it activated again in layer and uh, i place is layer number two so i'm going to insert this alpha but it will be under uh, certain parameters now i want to be the inner part of this painted black here so i selected black color so i have high and normal activated because i'm going to make it high so to this left yeah, it is deep here now the towards this right side is highlights now i want uh, it to be uh, some depth so i click and it has generated the, that effect of depth so we can click it and couple more times to get it a little more depth here now moving on so also add here a material uh, in this part of the lighthouse the same is the plastic part in fact we already had it added here so we look for look for this material and it seems to me that uh, it is the same as uh, this uh, exactly yeah you can see here so while for this inner part uh, it because like a metallic material now so we are going to uh, the option of brush or paint and we will look for the smart material and this uh, aluminium could serve us and i'm going to drag it over here and add a mask so uh, here also so i don't have a symmetric activated so i need just to add doubles so i would have assigned this corresponding part of this body to the lights so i put it backlight here and uh, so we will place a material in this window we go to this crystal layer and uh, we will locate the glass dirty material here now we load the material and how it also generate us you can see the glass like structure so it's kind of dirt of this crystal so it's a value which we can play and uh, give it some interactive reflection and a little more re realistic and our texturing process i would just leave it as glass and add a mask and i will paint it now we go to these alpha and we look for brush and i think this can help us and uh, we go to this first uh, i will completely add all these glasses now within this material option the dirt option in the dirt option we will create the uh, luminance that uh, we had just cleaned them and i'm going to create a folder uh, just we have here add folder so we created the folder i will take this dirt layer inside this folder here now to the folder i will add a mask and i add a mask because dirt is already wear a mask here uh, therefore i cannot modify it for uh, what i want to do 
so the effect of having clean uh, is here therefore it take to the folder now i select this alpha and uh, keeping us in this mask of this folder and i will paint more or less like this so it considering the part that uh, not clean the wiper well now you can see i would only paint uh, it on this part so i draft we could use this kind of alpha now here like this thirds we have just dirt and under this wiper now so for the rest i simply apply the selection by this object and because here i want to keep all that dirt in a respective manner so there is something very important that we must do uh, we go for this texture settings and in this channel we have to be a crystal and uh, uh, it is important to generate the corresponding uh, alpha to cut us and uh, uh, in the transparency of it and we add it so we click on this plus symbol and add an opacity uh, map so we will use this when we export this texture now i am going to add a same material again uh, this glass so to this i would put glass 2 here but to this we are going to totally taking away uh, from here so i add a mask and i select option by object now as i assign it to this uh, headlight glass sphere uh, uh, and uh, for this back also we are going to add through this normal and add a subdivision to of the gate so i am going to create a new layer uh, so we are going to add a layer here and we go for alphas select these uh, uh, i think shape bell we can work so select this alpha we would select it and also with this black color so i want it to the have uh, some depth so we can try there so it's too much so i decrease the size so so i will activate symmetry here so when we are rotating and if we press shift it give us a rotation at the certain angle of this object now just keep in mind so i could go down here in the straight line and uh, although i still consider it too wide so again i'm going to lower the brush size here uh, make it 0.2 i think just i'm going to make this separation so i will activate this wireframe and uh, i will be guided by same wire of this object so for the top let's lower it a little more let's put 0.08 here now uh, here uh, the problem is there since it has a extremely low resolution so it give us this slide a bit wide so it's really it's not that important just so i will deactivate wireframe and also symmetry now you can see we have almost turned give them a little separation of that moving on so we are going to materials and we are going to use 70s cubic pattern here so this kind of thing so we will increase its scale as it is one so we will play with 50 and uh, so it seems that it would look good so i'll even try it to 40 here and uh, 30 could be work better so this would be a reflective now we add a mask in this selection option and um, we would uh, uh, take it to an object mode and we select these two part here and it would be become a reflective headlights on this truck uh, so now uh, we go to this smart material and uh, add a glass dirt here to this i will put mirror and uh, 
its option i'm going to remove uh, the earth and we add a mask here so and we select it to made by uv to select only the internal part so here you can see as a movie is sh uh, shared and we already have it added on the both side so i'm going to add a new layer and uh, we are going to add uh, here refills so we go to alpha and we are going to look for the alpha that we had uh, uh, these kind of square with faded edge so we are going to tell you that this time insert of uh, this going to deep here so highlight us and move it to the right side uh, here we uh, will move upward the size and I think it necessary that we have guide ourselves with this fire flame. So even it is in initial part. So it is a three relief that on this we control plus right click. So we press the control. So we change the size of this brush. And if we press control plus shift and a completely straight line is drawn here. You can see now uh, we have on the symmetry axis and i have made these relief but painted like a black so we're just going to change this merge option from this normal to uh, disable and this takes the same body color here you can see let's go with this tire part now so if we uh, look at this reference we see that uh, it is a dark material so we can try this material uh, which already give us this result so it's quite good uh, of this aspect and we want to give uh, to this to wheel of a tire so we can try to couple more material here now just add a dust material and uh, over here so which is fine for the effect we want to give but uh, for now let's ignore it and uh, we test with this other material so we can play with your own option if you want to remove or add something uh, here something from here so even now I still like this material and we added at this beginning now here while I give it to us pretty interesting details so we can play with this option of this fuse mode and uh, I can add a mask and uh, I'm going to paint a little and with this material and especially uh, here at these edges. So while with draft I remove it and I don't want the, that area to be highlighted. So I'm going to brush and I'm going to paint this inner part here. So you can see and uh, with this draft I will remove this part from here. Now I forget to activate the symmetry to do the same effect. <laughs> so for that uh, of this other side I am going to activate it and I am uh, doing the mask of other part of this side. So I am giving a small stock over this and with this eraser i erase the part that i don't want to paint so i will create a new folder and uh, i will drag the two material here now i add a mask to this folder and i select these one and now in this way i avoid my avoid masking the two material one by one and uh, that we have just assigned uh, to this same geometry so we would have this rim uh, part first and we will uh, look for this tire uh, that is kind of uh, rubber and dirt so which already has this mud texture here so we see how it appears uh, to us but uh, for this example uh, we would not want this kind of mud texture so we are going to remove this part of this earth and um, we can keep this dirt that is uh, marked in this area and little above 
so which can help us to give this visualization of uh, what we want so i will delete this part uh, and we will create a mask and mask only this tire here now we are going to add this uh, uh, powder material uh, like a house wall so we wait for a moment to load it now here you can see uh, we see how he created this dusk scheme and it would be like surrounded by dirt and we will play with this value removing and modify certain parameters so we are going to remove this base and we are also going to remove rush and since a rubber would not have rush so in fact we will erase or delete them so let strain also does not do anything any function we remove the base also and we also remove this wire because we don't have metal part uh, over this uh, rubber tire so this we will also create and uh, we will modify the value of dust and sand then uh, on we have that so if we select dust and go for this mask option and here I'm going to lower this value and balance uh, both on this part of dust and uh, we go to the sand part and uh, selecting the mask and uh, now we are going down to mask option and we will also lower their value so you can see here so we can put even 0 0.1 uh, better to 0 0.0001 so although uh, it is still too much so we can consider remove it completely so we would be left alone with this first one uh, which I can lower it a bit uh, more le like here so I can lower it transparency a bit and uh, we would have a first uh, scheme here so of this dusty part and what these kind of tires so I will add these material to this and uh, what effect that part of this dust so we go to your option and we have this dust part now you can see I'm increasing and adjusting these kind of uh, values and modify something but we are moving little this option that mask giving us so which does not allow us to control the material too much as you can see here which does not uh, okay which um, I think it would not be too useful because uh, uh, here you can I am adjusting all these value again so with the material I just added uh, which is the JQR painted sheet so we see how this dirt way be behaves in the most interesting way uh, so with, between the stands which is like this so I would be more or less I want to dot these highlights in the middle of the craving of this tire so we could change the color uh, so we go down to this option and we remove these tires option so that I only do this you can see we change its floor plane color so it is little more brown here so we can use this uh, eyedropper option and we select the same tone as before so I'm selecting this color and uh, in this way we are added a part as dusty now now uh, with this structure of tire which is uh, in this accordance uh, with the rest of this texturing we apply uh, to this tr uh, truck box so what means is we add a chrome title and for example it can be chrome blue tin now apply this so we will create a mask here and uh, we select this by object duck chamber or a big disk so which would not have this dirt so when doing this baking action they would do cleared so sometimes we can add and uh, as a final detail so for the texturing theme it uh, is too hard for that uh, goes in this tire of this tire now we are going to create an alpha 
uh, with this kind of texture so we go for our browser and in this image section we would place the text called tire normal maps so i'm finding the normal maps so in the series of option we already preset as normal maps now so so let's find the one that suits us better so i'm looking for uh, this text uh, that goes in this side wall so i think the texture we have is present image could be served here and we will save it in a reference folder now we'll assign a name normal map text so we will open a photoshop and we will create a new documents here uh, based on the same size so which was 590 by 590 now we will drag this and we will take it to document with created which we created so uh, use this elliptical tool so i am going to make this mask and uh, i will cover the entire area of this craving and i would go to the selection transform selection and uh, just i am going to move and adjust the scale of it and adjust is perfect position until i make sure that it completely cover its entire line so i just little low down and i think we accept and i will create a new layer here now for now i will paint this part uh, to have a reference of this so i'm going to hide and control and click on this circumstances and now i gave uh, control plus j to separate this part and you can see here i have the outer part separation and again i click on this circumference to activate this act, uh, selection tool here so let's go to the selection transform selection and uh, press alt and shift to uh, in the to resize it in same position same proportional and i'm going to lower the size of this disk so more or less i confirm and enter press delete this internal part so this will be the normal map, map uh, that i edit and select we are going to edit transform and uh, flip horizontal so so this would be a right position for our tires now i will create the bottom layer and i add a black file so for uh, for now i will be uh, when it become a mask we always play with the color black so i'm going to reduce its scale and i'm going to duplicate this layer with ctrl j here you can see so with the layer style option i give it color to over it and we give it to this and i save this ctrl alt and s i will save in png format to have a list of this and we will put this to normal map masking now you can see i'm saving this so i activated this i save again and uh, same in png for format so but this would be just normal map uh, we say so but this would be and we return to this uh, uh, substance painter we go to the alphas and uh, we open our reference folder and have the alpha and the normal maps so for that i'm going to alphas so in the in this dialog box is display asking us what we are important so we tell you them the both are alphas are important for us so you have these options so if we close this program so this data will be lost so and they will no longer be saved in this gladiator folder so in this case we will only be uh, usable every time we open this uh, project or the or the shelf of you want i always select yourself because i want it at any time so i essential that i will use any of these resources that i have planned so we give you import and this we return to this part of layer 
we add a new layer and again add a new layer here so i will use the mask as a brush and uh, we also we see also it formatted as it and i deactivate the symmetry because uh, i will insert each side independently of this layer and this is alpha that we add here now uh, just move it so in this color we ignore for now but in the normal part i am going to uh, we will drag this normal that we imported so in this way normal will give us that detail on this uh, relief so in this way uh, i'm going to make this brush a little bigger here and uh, once i'm rotating i press shift and it position in uh, this more orthogonal way here so i realize centering it and uh, going to click and i realize that release that so here we see how this embodies of this styling of this tire tags has been inserted on this tire so this is really cool here so we are going to tell it disable mode so that uh, it takes part of this texture so that we had added but we noticed that it is also very bright so i'm going to give this control z to undo this and we are going to lower this roughness at a little more and again i position myself again over here and press click so this again need to uh, disable and it seemed to me with that would better so we are even going to more lower than and again i'm trying this and disable again now you can see we do the same on this other side also so we locate myself i will rotate this light here and uh, to see different option of material we press letter c here so we will switch between texture of channels uh, to say here we are uh, diffuse mode now here we are in cache this is roughness and here we in cache and this is normal and in which we are visualize these kind of maps so and we apply as this texture here so i press the m key we see the rendering image here so this is my final image of material so while we are rotating now press shift key and to place the tire in the orthogonal view here now we try to center it and press click here uh, we would have particularly this texture scheme in our truck also now here you can see so it's a, a matter of moving the options if we want to continue adding these things so modifying if we want to change this color a little more let's uh, give a lighter tone here and i think this color is better now so you can see so we have played with this different texture and material in subtense painter so we want if we, we want to export um, to this render engine so in this so let's try so here i'm going to export these texture settings so to export this texture process for key shot or uh, other render engines so it's pretty simple for subtense painter since we simply have to go to file and uh, export these textures and we have this texture export options so we have all this file of our udim as we identify in this part as you can see now here we can select by which uh, set we want to send this sector so we have preset for our node uh, corona and uh, key shot cry engine redshift and all so each of these engines also mostly uh, which already come with this necessary channel so but something in this necessary to add a few channels here so if we select key shot um, by default subtense painter export us with this diffuse normal reflection roughness and metallic but we must add a couple of channel necessary for rendering here so now let's uh, the ambient okay uh, 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 ambient nature and the glossiness and this so to do this for before we go to this configuration of render engine 
uh, I'm its exporting channel I will just cancel it so we make sure that in each of these styles uh, I have uh, the gloss map added so in this case as I always use it uh, this kind of and I always have to it added but if we don't just check it let's go to this plus sign of this channel and we tell you to add a glossiness channel so we go we do the same with this body and uh, we select this body work here tile so if we don't have it we should add in this plus sign on this channel so we do the same with this uh, other layers so uh, crystal and we add this glossiness and again with tires we also add the glossiness channel here you can see so uh, done this now we are going to file and export textures and uh, here we go with the configuration we select key shot and uh, we are going to add this ambient and glossiness channel so we are going to duplicate one of this set so in this case this roughness and here we have two buttons the duplicate buttons at this top and i press x to permanently remove it from this texture set and i'm going to double it and name it gloss uh, simply now i drag the channel we have here and i drag this little square uh, of color so uh, like this and it tell me in what format i want to generate it so my glossiness is black and white so it's a gray channel so i'm going to duplicate it now but we are going to uh, use it uh, to generate the ambient oncillation so we drag it from here and we is also a gray channel here and we return to export select any of these map so now I'm select key shot again and I apply the channel we have made here. Now I have this gloss ambient, these kind of channels and uh, equally gloss ambient and other channels that would be exported. Now you can see here. So now we have this export formats ready. So uh, I would generally recommend it, you can use PNG which keeps a uh, uh, as uh, easy and revolution of 16 bit details so you can see and here we are selected the folder where we want to save our expos file or our texture sets so we are going to create a texture folder here select folder and game give it export here so it will take some time so ready we have exported the entire texture package here now we go to the, our folder and here you have all these texture maps uh, you can see accessories body tires and all so if we want we can create a folder for the for each of one so also we have them separate accessories so like this i am creating a folder here and for body crystal and that would be uh, nice um, so now here is the accessories and arrive to this part over here in this set and for bodies i think i passed one uh, this is uh, not uh, body so i control z and x and uh, uh, we give control v here just copy and paste so this would be here also and these body so while the crystal would uh, be up to here and here move it so we subtract the map of what we in this so we will open the body map and we open it in the photoshop so that's we have it open while we block this layer here so i'm going to import the ambient uh, in this photoshop uh, i'm taking to this photoshop and uh, unlock i'm going to move it here and we press uh, press uh, shift so to be hit on this same direction now i'm going to give it a merge mode in multiple and this add that details on this shadow you can see uh, how it's changed and this is generated in this encounter of different geometries so we can lower it opacity so that uh, it is not so marked now you can see here 
and we save it again Control alt and save so i select i want to replace this and uh, yeah, press yes okay uh, now we wait for it to be saved and ready now here let's see with this accessory part and uh, we do the same with this also now open it uh, we are going to wear this diffuse and i am going to close this and i don't need it because i don't need it anymore and also go with ambient and now uh, here you can see i'm going to move it here and i press shift and we'll also give it in a multiple and uh, we lower it opacity a little and uh, more or less like this so again i'm going to save this and replace my older maps and save again okay so so we can do the same with this tire part also so i'm taking this into photoshop and uh, delete this one this one and this one so now taking this part on photoshop and we do we'll do it with more sublet way multiple and uh, we see how we have these highlights with this shadow and but uh, we will make it more concealed like this and 30 percent would be fine so well let's i put 40 percent here and uh, i'm going to save it and again okay so now so we have already extracted all the texture maps of our model and uh, it's time to take them to the our render images uh, sorry render engine